I'm pushing that electric pole over so I better not stay here too long. A quick view from inside the Land Rover. It's not so windy. Only just this second move, them, and they're not bothered. Look, laying down, you can see the field behind. They're not eating it too hard, so really pleased with that. Now we can get into this. Those two paddocks there need to if I buy more of these posts. These ones I just brought from a company. Um, I won't say the company name, but on eBay, but absolutely bloody useless they bend like you wouldn't believe bought off them before some nice green ones and they hold up really really well so i'm just speaking to them now and sent them a load of pictures of these bending over so and with a slight bend or anything in the fence they just pull over um sag with the wire on them and everything so it'd be the right nightmare of a post so put the green ones in on the corners and everything else now so hold up but no, they're nice and content so it's Sam Foyne that they wasn't eating, which is that hairy one in the middle there. It seems we've eaten all around that. But I don't want to graze too hard because I want to let all the other crops that are in there. But a bit that they're on at the minute, um, I think the drill run out. There's a little triangle across the field where it's very, very fine amount and, and disappeared to nothing. So there's a bit down behind me. Disappeared to nothing, but look, I just let them in 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. They're already laying down, so I'm hoping they're gonna gain some fat. So, this little fella here on this cow, I'm hoping to keep him as a bull. So, some good records of this cow and her mother and everything else have been quite nice cows. Um, so it'd be sort of rigid cross. And then the mother is um, Angus Cross Shorthorn with a maybe a little bit of Chevrolet in there. So, yeah, and he'll he'll perhaps stay if his growth rates are good as a ball. So growth rates this morning didn't film it because a bit hectic trying to get done. Um, the best probably only at 0.46, and we had some probably bad ones at 100 grams, but. We hadn't fed them in the morning. Last time we'd fed them and weighed them. That might have made a little bit of difference for such a small animal, but I don't think so. We didn't get them all finished because I tripped over the wire and pulled the wires out of the um, weighing scales. So brilliant. Um, I had, I had another set of wires, but then nothing worked. So I think I've done some damage to it. Might have to spend a bit of time recalibrating. Oh, here's the resident sheep. Look how fat that's looking now, that. Yeah, I reckon that might be tasty in a couple of weeks' time if we can catch him. And he's cleaned up a little bit, so it wouldn't take me too much to dag him out. I bet he has got a fat coat in. So if we ever get a chance to run these back through the yard, which we will have to do, he'll be um, he'll be eaten if he go on the trailer. He keeps getting out. He's always in the wrong field, a bit of a pain, and he's not mine. So I don't see why I should have to. Headache of him being a pain. Right, let's go and get somewhere for these calves to go. We're going to put these calves outside. So let's go and get that done. See the fencing done. A bit of barbed wire there to tidy up, which I'll do. Look at this lovely grass. Getting in there, the whole field's not like it. But it is nice. And what have we got on the trailer? Fair size field, we perhaps should strip it. We've got some pig arcs on the bottom there for these guys and got water. So. First time they've ever seen freedom and grass. You know what grass is? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, birdie boy. Oh. All of them. Hey! What's that guy? <laughs> um, can you go and get the three boys? Jack, Jack and Kyle. I'll back this up there, yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. I should be able to walk around that fashion way. I just got a bit of barbed wire to pick up. Out the field, out the field, go on. So these are now two weeks old. Tomorrow it's Wednesday. So what is this? Tuesday, it's two weeks old. So they're just about done, I would say, 13 days that have done 40 kilos of food. 160, I think, I think it's 165 and we've lost four or five, we've lost nothing since day one, but I think we'd have only lost about two if it weren't for two or three coming in with problems. So, something further up. No gas on today, it is sweating in here. So the feather up nicely. That's a second bottle. So I'll get your price, so I will. But, um, Let's see if we need another bottle. Anyway, come get ready for this tractor. Lunch time. That bramble be farm. Look at him getting stuck well in. It's growing like a good one there. Just filming through that. Right. We've got something exciting on the trailer. Something we already had anyway, so just a spare hour a day trying to put the odd animal outside. So I'm quite excited about putting these ones out. Not the best amount of grass. So these two fields have been now rested. Crown thistles. Um, have been messing. We've got a couple of bits over there messing for a bit longer and then a bit that's in front of us. I can see where the fence is. A bit here that's um yeah I can see it. That we really really heavily <laughs> that's how that cows this side. Whoever was last in here and put the fence back up. So that might have been me. Well, it matters this fence behind it. It just shows you that these two that are out here haven't at all been worried about it. And I'm not happy, there's not a lot of grass on here, but it's growing and there's only one, two on here, but plenty of water. So let these three out on here so they can change to the electric, but if they get out, they can't really get anywhere too badly. So they'll come in and she's just come back in. So she's third one. Keep up. Let them out here. Put the fence back up on your leaf. You can see that it's properly down because that fence post there is holding it down. Doesn't seem not a lot. But it's coming and these three ain't gonna hurt it. Four ain't gonna, six ain't gonna hurt it. And we can move them if they behave. These are the exciting ones. Just check out Heather. Not sure. Heather there. Not sure when she's due to calf. 
So, mmm. Who have we got here? Let's turn this off and turn it round. I'm the mess of my trailer. <coughs> Moving stuff around continuously. Hello, girl. Freedom. A bit mucky round the drinker in the barn. I just hope they just don't head for the hills because the hills are a long way. Yeah, you know what that is, isn't you? That's one of the dairies. That's one of our Jersey Cross Frisians. So, and what we got in here? Hang on, put you down a second. Apartment number two. Well, let me come up with you. Well, you go up first, then. Eh? That's moth. Yeah. So, this they look a bit small when they look a bit skinny. That's dairy for you. They're starting to get little bags on them. So really is to get them outside. Look at that, I like that one. That's probably my favorite. Get them outside, they can clean off a little bit. And if I respect the fence, we've got a little bit over there that hasn't been grazed. I think they look well. I'm happy. I'm very happy. So they must be not that long to carve in. Unfortunately, <laughs> look at them. Unfortunately, I've got a lot to do. So it's um, before they carve. So I've got no equipment and I've got no room. I've got no parlor. I've got no nothing. So um, I'm hoping over the next, over this week, we'll get drilling. Bert's just gone drilling again. So. Um, hoping we get that done. We've just got a ton of peas that just arrived. We're going to put some peas and some barley together. Um, so hopefully all will go well. The reason why I put these cows with them too, that Galloway and the other one, is they know the fence, so they're staying in very well. But what we've got to do is get that Galloway out, put him with the balls. So, but he ain't hurting there for the moment. He ain't hurting if at all so it's um but i think that heifer at the back hasn't been mated and don't really want it mated so get that one out but there's your there's your free milkshakes the micro parlor it will be coming well hopefully i don't get away to the end there see the electric fence and run straight through it and disappear So we've had them a little while now, so we just wanted to keep them in the, in the barn, make sure they were healthy, make sure they're friendly. They're not like eat at your hand friendly yet, but just wanted to make sure everything there was fine. Yeah, she's under your fence. You can see electric there. Does she know what it is or is she going to walk straight through it? That's the interesting bit. You're not to go any further than where they are right there now and if they do they have now I've got a nightmare of a day might not even have been up either who knows them two have stopped so I suppose I'll best go and have a look let's move a Land Rover out the other side of the electric put that up and get round it and that was the plan of not giving them into the middle of just a field I think the electric must be out, look, them two have stood there saying, we ain't coming. More grass there, look, they've got the head straight down and grey, so I might let these two through as well, so we'll check it. But she wants to stare me out. There she goes. Does she either go under or over? Over and take my fence. No, pretty much left my fence. She stood there for a few moments looking at me. Well, I think what I'm going to do is put the fence back across here. I don't know if it was up or oh, looks like they broke it when I walked through. <coughs> yeah, so I'll walk over, turn the box off. Put the fence up back across here. I've got to keep them on that until they stay on that. <coughs> and then once they've stayed on that, I'll give them a fresh piece. So, but we use this as training. It's also got water. It's easy access. and see where they go next. Looking like that red heifer's starting to slowly bag up as well, so hopefully she won't be 
too long. I don't know who the father will be to hers. We just <laughs> we stuck her in with some balls, um, a good lot of them. So could have been mated by something. But we never had our proper balls at home, and she was at home. And she was late carving, so. really seen these two properly because they're two new ones as well to Galloway and a little Hereford cross. Look at the condition of that red one that she's showing it. Looks like they'll stop at the next fence. Didn't get that on video but that's the next fence and that's where the charger is and that one there on the right boy did she stop when she hit that. They knew it was there I think they could sense it. No, but that one's took it and took it with it. Oh, looks like I'm in for a few hours of training the cows. That one don't want to go now though, so that could be one trained. So that'll go now, the next one's gone. So let's get the fence down there, move them back again. This is what we're looking for. It's been four or five weeks since we grazed it. It's quite nice. Grazed it very lightly just for two days I think so far this season yeah mucks looking good <coughs> so I'm happy with the regrowth on here but that is where the dairy's ended up so got to move just a red one left to move got the dairy back now put the contract on her now move her nice leisurely stroll I've been having notes say I don't walk a lot. I've got to walk all the way back over there now. Hopefully get there before the cows. Otherwise I'll be around that field again. Then walk all the way back to where I've just come from. Turn on the energizer. By the looks of it, the cows have got a little bit faster than what I am, so I'm going for a run. Yeah, you beat them. Oh, time is better back off. Walk them back and carry on. Well, they broke it. The other thing I don't want to do when I'm here running backwards and forwards it's scare them so I'm going to be nice and settled no screaming and shouting just go about it with very low stress levels on me produce no stress levels on them it's so easy to scream and shout and to run and charge but if we do that at every point <coughs> then they won't enjoy working with us. So they get munching on a few nice bits of grass. They've had a nice bit of silage. So they'll be happy. Pretty sad, it's turnout time and I've just one watching these cows, watch Tom Pemberton's cow turnout. So what a massive crowd he had, unbelievable. So these cows are walking round, checking the boundary. I just noticed it's a little bit low there, so I'm going to stand that up. I haven't walked and checked the boundary. Um, yeah, so hopefully they might stay in. They'll be out tomorrow. I'll have to go looking for them. Well, I've got a bit of a ditch here. I don't know if any of you know, but look, that electric fence is touching that post. Not a fix, but something like that, just to keep that off of there. That'd give it twice as much punch for when they touch it. So I'll sort that out a little bit better. It's good to see that little scratch out in the corner that we put in. No funding or anything. We just put it in. A couple of logs and that in here. Did have a bit of tractor parking in here the other year. For those that follow us on Facebook, might remember. And it's good to see some frog spawn in there because I've never been in here the whole time that I've been here. So not in this ditch anyway. The next ditch over we had a little bit. So that means it's in all of our ditches that hold water that we've now found frog spawn. That's amazing. Down at the heifers. I've not been down here for a couple of days. I think Sunday would have been my last day and it's now Wednesday morning. 
quite nice. They're all laying down as I drove up the road, so it's a really good sign. Just getting up now. <coughs> nice and spread out, laid down and content. That's what we like to see. So, looks like they've eaten the last bowl over there. So, we'll just move them. Just strip across, they get another bowl. So, I don't want to take these bowls home with me. Hard underfoot now because in there wet it was. I just want to see if I've got a new calf. I don't know, I don't think I have. Uh, that one drinking off its Hereford mum there. Another little galloway there. It's quite small. No, it's tagged. That's fine. No new calves. Sorry. <coughs> it's a shame. And had no calves for about a week. Yeah, it's going to be a long drawn out season with that heat last year. So I'm not actually sure there's still a few in here. Still the calf. Hello, girl. You all right? She hasn't. She hasn't. She hasn't. You're a he. So a couple of these short horns might be. The only... A lot of these I took out and weren't given a ball. You've already calves, you're looking calf. That one and that one, she should be in calf. So should she. So, a lot of these I didn't think were. Oh, I was probably giving them a bow hay yesterday by the looks of it. It's good of him. There is not a lot left. Mm, looks like I've got a job fetching news. So we're drilling at the minute. The birds out drilling this morning. So I'm just gradually getting around the animals. <coughs> um, pigs are on silage at the minute because I haven't got time to meals. They've got a bit of normal food and we give them a bit of silage on top of that. Um, just to make it uh, inch out a little bit. <sighs> I want to give them all of this. I want to keep a narrow strip because we'll use that narrow strip then, if you can see it over my shoulder, when there's just a narrow bit left to um, put the cows behind and load from. But I think these little calves are going to be a nightmare to load. Looking well out. Right, let's get on. One of the things I'm looking at, see this cow yeah, is getting pretty slack on the back end. Bagging up. I don't think she won't be very long. So that's a short horn cross Angus cow. You won't be very long, will you? I don't think she'll be very long, a little bit longer. <coughs> See if I'm wrong. Then. What are you looking like, Buttercup? Not as close, but she's starting to change shape on the back end. But the other one I noticed that's really close is <coughs> this white cow. I don't know if some of you follow her on Facebook. This cow was quite ill as a calf, and yeah, she's getting quite close as well. So there's four there, so I'm wondering if we'll try and get them home before they calf. And I think if they calved, I think definitely try and get them straight home. These ain't due to calf until, oh, you bugger, a bit later. Come check these, you beat up. What's that butting me? That one's, look, get off, get off. <laughs> no milk in there, no. <clears throat> Two days out of grass now, so just making sure that there's body condition. Oh, bug off, yous. Yes, you're so friendly, aren't you? I think you're the one that Bert likes. I'd be surprised if, um, if you, oh, fuck off. It hurts now. So, I've got to go around, just make sure everybody's up. Come on up. Just check them. So got this. this is our wildflower hay. So, I thought we'd put this out here. So it should have wildflowers. Look at how well that gets chopped up. You want some? How about eating that rather than me? How about you? You want that? Yes. That's it. It's better than eating. I don't need my shirt. See why I wear two shirts. A shirt over top of the shirt. Up, up, 
up, up, up, up, up you come, up, do not get them up, up, do not get bloat or anything off grass, good stretch is what we like to see, up you go, up, dairy, so I don't expect to see anything but that on them, have a good boy, up, 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 just a gentle tap into the, you've got to kick them hard, this one's always worried me, I reckon this one's suffering a bit of pneumonia, it's up for stretching, everybody up, move, walk, check these a bit later, look at, look nice and fat though, this is our ball, this is our, gonna be the dairy ball, apparently his mother, Here's one of the highest milkers in their herd. <coughs> Perhaps he should have been a heifer. So, nice long back on him, isn't he? So whether that's any good for a dairy, I don't know. And any seeds in this, which I can't see a lot. Any seeds in this where it ain't gone. Will get distributed across the field. Oh, that's a pain, that's a thistle one. There's like a blue flower in here as well. There it is. See the flowers. In there. There is plenty of seeds in there. Come on, that boy. Then we've got three of them there. We've got some other rough old stuff just from the nibble on. So. Really careful. I want to see the ears down, I want to see the ears up. <coughs> Come on, let's have a run this morning. Come on. Come on. Get you all moving now you're awake. I'm not getting that dairy one up. I'm just going to get that up. Have a good girl. Come on. stretch not cling on get that off yep see we've had a bit of a munch on the grass don't eat too much grass it's got to last for a little while follow me now it'll be nice to see them moving and walking give up protein in this grass look. look look at that that'll feed some critters and some grass there you go everybody's up everybody looks good i've heard back from people that supplied me these posts sent them pictures waste of time. Anyway, next group. Good to see the three heifers stayed in the right place. Just gonna do a little bit of time, a bit of respect, and learn the boundary. So <clears throat> they can perhaps come out of this field tomorrow, I'll perhaps leave them in here for one more day. Then they come out of here and get a bit of better grass. This has been as you know if you're following us this was our sacrifice field. So we want a sacrifice field to recover now. So. Hello girls, have you enjoyed your first night outside? Mm -hmm. See you up please. Let's 
good as well for these like I couldn't get anywhere near that going away on that Hereford but now there's a group thank you it's good to see that I can get that close to them they're out of traditional balls so they don't get very big Still kid at 130 aside, 125, 135, 140 aside. Big enough for the butchery. So. Right, leave them in peace. That's me got round all the outside cows. Gonna do the ones in the yard, which I won't want anything doing to them. I think there's only nine or ten left in. We run about about 110, 115 head here at the minute. So enough to keep you lot fed. Chickens. I can kind of scratch through all that straw. Look. So we're currently running about 48, 49 hens. So a lot of them not laying yet. As you can see, these birds here just starting. So getting a few eggs. You can see these birds here have been laying. So some of these are. The younger ones from last year, you can see she's in late. Looking good. Don't get better than that. Fresh, there you go. Straight off the farm, as natural as can be. Yeah, you think so as well. well that's yours, it's going to you in a minute. That's not funny. I'm stuck on the 6 6. So
catch up with a 6 6. Poor old girl's having to work hard. No, I ain't really. You nick the bloody ghost. But, oh, look at that sun. Kill him, isn't it? Old tracks, I've got 1.8 metre power hour. So I'm just tidy it up. A bit of land. Four acres, there can't be much more than a acre and a bit left. So an hour. Driving back. Oi. That'll do. <coughs> Meg, that'll do. Heifers are back apart from a few. So we're just going to um, check everybody's here and then we're going to fence that bit of grass down the bottom there so they can get back some force to the water. And, uh, and that'll do us. You're out of the cow group, so I don't know why you're there. Mm. Not that heifer group. Cows are a bit more naughty than the heifers. But yeah, so we'll get them. Some fresh grass. Then we'll have a good drink, now the grass comes. I think she might have been the first to carp this year. So take them off of here, we just keep putting them on here. And while we're giving other things breaks, but it's a fair area, it must be eight or nine acres. <coughs> Let me move them across onto there. So that's, a, I don't know if you can see the difference. Not, still not loads, but that has had a break. Probably be all right there for a day or so. Then we'll move them again. And that's not all of that, it's only about four acres, so. But they've got that they can wander onto to get their drink. So just wandering around. I seem to spend a lot of time doing, looking at cows, looking at grass. So this is the first time this field's always been 
just cows on it no moving no nothing else and that's how we've always grazed a lot of them have stayed in till may even june to go out straight on the wash we've still got some heifers in you're really muddy you've been right in the water have you girl yes um <coughs> This year we've tried things completely different. So we've allowed time to do so and just tried a bit of structure. Bloody things, I'll kick them out. They're tough, aren't they? <laughs> Should take a spade round with me. Get, get rid of them, they're everywhere. So we'll probably give them one, maybe two days on here. This has been rested probably not quite long enough. The other side of that fence has been rested longer, but we're going to keep that longer. The grass is looking quite green, the clovers are coming, but we just are not getting spring weather. Today was lovely and warm, nice spring day, but it's cold and everything else. You find a lot of um, little cows be meeting each other. Um, for the first time, so, trying to work out who's who. Hey, you're, you're, you're that one's calf. It's right. Get a bit confused when you move stuff around. So we go off the fence over there, so that Monday we get another thing. But I think the biggest killer for us on all this is water. So on this block here, it must be <coughs> nearly 50 acres. Um, we've got water on it, but we've got 22, I think, acres over the road with more grass and no water. And then when we're busy on other jobs, the water's too demanding, too hard work. So we need to, and even here, once this water runs out, they're a bit more of a pain. And the other thing is wire and posts. <coughs> it's, um, I haven't quite got the budget to keep buying it. But we do keep budgeting a little bit in each month and buying a little bit more, another reel, another 60 posts. <coughs> Pretty calf. So it eventually will make it a little bit easier. And then obviously stock training, there's a couple here that have been a bit of a pain. That one there, why are you there? Yeah, they're there because the gateway's here, but she's in the wrong bit. So ideally we need a parameter electric fence and then 15 foot inside that we need the electric fence that we can use to divide all the paddocks so if they get out they can just wander around the parameter and get into the next bit so generally they've not been getting out they've been very well behaved um, heifers have been amazing the cows the first time we've gone on it and they've been okay so, anyway, I'll go and fence. That there is looking quite nice. And that's had its allocated rest period. There's 10 acres there. We'll probably go and fence five, six acres and just let them on it for a couple of days and move them again. And then hopefully, we'll start building up a lot more muck and everything else. That, um, The grass will respond better and start accepting it. They're looking, I think all in all, I think they're looking good and we've only got to get them through to the second week of second week of June. And then hopefully they'll be on the wash. Just looking at the hairs, look. Is that one, two? Three, four, five, six. That one there, maybe. Seven, eight. I don't know if I see eight, but. A lot of hairs. Hairs and pheasants and everything else. Loads of birds singing. There's what, three. Seven, two, four, six, eight, nine, probably ten, just in that little bit. 
been another busy week on the farm. I'm just back from farmer's market. But I've just come down to the cows and somebody has opened the gate and let them through to the next bit. Get our fence yesterday, which I'm not fussed about. But we have somebody with very small brain cells in this village that enjoys walking around and opening gates and turning off electric fence units. I know it is, I've just never caught them doing it. It's just Ugh, why it just gets on your nerves um anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video this week i put a couple out during the week that i thought you might enjoy with the calves and that going out etc so i'm so just back from the market just come around and check on the animals the boy boy's done the animals um oh, i've got just seen a pig as well um i shouldn't have seen a pig there but never mind um Wieners get everywhere. So yeah, so we're just out checking around quickly and I've just got a little bit, I'm gonna put some vetch in, just an acre. So I just gotta calibrate the drill for that and then um it won't take very long to put that in, so I'll just pick it out and put that in and then that's um that's me done. So hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe if you can please. They say it helps you out, is what all the other YouTubers say. But, um, but anyway, just hope you enjoy it. So, yeah, that's um, gate was tied up with wire, um, so I know that it wouldn't have just fallen over. So all I've got to do is move it and just hook up the live electric to it. Yeah, and oh, we might have a fresh calf, and we have. So hang around, I'll go and get a video of it. First one of this week. I thought we had none this week, so we definitely got a definitely got a fresh one out of a fast track daughter. Looks a funny colour, so it might be interesting. Well, sure are some funny colours about. Look at that. It's got a grey stripe down its middle and a half a belt on either side. What are you like, mummy cow? You're a first time cow, aren't you? Let's just see what it is. Little bull calf. <laughs> Quick drive round and have a look at the rest. There's a couple bust into bust into calf. Oops. So the only calf today. Let's get them free, they're over there. So thank you for letting my cows out. There's an electric fence there but it's not on and the cows it's in the know when it's not on really quickly, so it's free to wrong side the fence. She's always the wrong side the fence, she's always the wrong side the fence. That one's never been the wrong side the fence. Unless it's the ball. Might be, and I don't know where he's been. So sort these out. She has been a pain. That is the ball. I don't like that down. If anybody's ever at it, has been this one. So if she doesn't learn, she'll be going to market with a calf at foot. Go on, bugger off. It's a shame she's making it into a nice young cow. Thank you. Please leave my fences and boxes alone. We've got something different. I'm going to stick it in the ground. Anybody know what that is? Hey, we've never grown it before in this way. We've got it on the farm. What do you reckon, boy? I just want to wind it in a little bit. We've got to calibrate the drill for that. Tastes nice. That's about hair cut, look. Still got some cattle in everybody. Anyway, this is protein, so this is quite high protein. This is a vetch, so a fit spring vetch. We're hoping we can combine it, but I don't know if it'll go through our combine. 
that combine as you know is done 50 50 or 51 harvest now so we'll see but it, combine. It, your combine your birds combine so it's um you got a fixed nitrogen into the ground so the follow-on crop will be different and then if we can combine this maybe then next year we can add this to barley and other things and make a uh, a real nice silage to feed the bullocks in the winter time so it could fail the pigeons could eat it who knows anyway we're gonna go and put it in be a dairy we could be milking very soon put the cows back in the dog leg field overnight no one there very close Good. really got to wash my window haven't i if it looks worse for me i think i need to get a new phone it's smashed to pieces not they can hear me whistling i don't know why i'm whistling so, sorry it went on a little bit longer, I said goodbye a little while ago, but now it is goodbye. And um, watch the cows go home. And we'll see you next week at Bramblebury Farm. I've had a good week, so I'm happy. Good! Look at that pretty little calf, look. Get up! forward facing udder on that cow. Well, we're she had a bit of a big udder, but I'm not going to mark her for that. I think that's quite nice. I don't know where they're going. They've got muddy feet, that's where they're getting their water from. Come on! They're in no rush, I've been across the field, haven't packed it all. next week. Come on! Look the other on her. You see how it's got dairy in her. You're going back a few generations. That's Buttercup. That's Buttercup 3. So we had a lovely cow called Buttercup. And she was dairy cross and then we had um, her daughter out of her and she was horrible cow. What bugger. And um, Everyone got a phone call or a cow out. I was like, is it a black and white one? Yeah, yeah, big black and white one. She was always out. And then this is Buttercup 3. And then um, she's a bit of a lovely heifer. Can't complain if she is, look. I can't complain on her at all. So she's about to have her first calf. So she has a she has a cut heifer. That'd be Buttercup 4. There's a new calf there, look. Stand in the gateway and say we don't want to go back in there. Just to a little bit of pressure. Good. There she is. That ain't gonna be our first milk. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> and I just can't hide it. And you know, you know, you know, we're gonna be milking real soon. Yeah. I don't think I'll make a singer though. What do you reckon? Bloody traffic jam. Come on. Come on. Oh. What I want to do is go home. Be careful, I'm gonna back over somebody. I don't know, I'm going backwards. Traffic's getting worse. Must be rush hour. Come on! Come on! Yes, I know you want this grass. Come on! 
Oh, I bet it's not this bad in the middle of London. Come on, what's your emission zones? Keep moving. Loitering. 17. Don't go back. Go forward. Oh, you go, calf. Look at you, look. <laughs> you walk on, your mummy's there. Look. Where's your mummy? Out of there. Let your calf will catch you up in a minute, Beatrice. Come on, keep moving. Come on. Milk, milk is on its way. Look at this child, she won't be long. Come on. Good. 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 You are an awkward cow. Yes, you. Don't look at me like that. You go that way. Come. I've got milk, you. You're all right. Bugger, you are. Good. Good. Not worry about the calves. The calves can get under the bottom barbed wire. You can't, though, so you go. You go. Go on, pretty one. Mm. Well, I've got to get out now, so keep going. Mm. Keep going. Go lay down two of the cards. Mind that calf. Right, I can get home now. Bye bye. <laughs> 